Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Breezeway Productions. We are here at the 2023 Hamptons International Film Festival, and we're gonna be speaking with some filmmakers that are official selections this year. If you like the interviews, please subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. We're here at the 2023 Hamptons International Film Festival speaking with... Finn Taylor. And Janine Thomas. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by to talk today. Uh, tell me about what brings you out to the festival this year. Uh, well, we're here with our film, Avenue of the Giants, um, starring Stephen Lang, Elsie Fisher, Robin Wiegert. Um, it's uh, based on a true story of an incredible man. He was taken by the Nazis at age 12, escaped miraculously at 15 from Auschwitz and the Birkenau Death March, kept it a secret for 60 years. So this takes place during the week in 2004 when he first tells the secret to a, a, a troubled teenager who's got her own secret. The story is fascinating to go back in history and then re-examine that. Um, tell me how the subject matter came to you. Uh, I met Herbert in 2014 and I was fascinated by his story and spending time with him. And I felt the world needed to know about this story as well as be interacted with a teenage line. Mm -hmm. So he hadn't told his story for 60 years. So we had him tell his story to a teen girl um, who was kind of going through her own stuff as well. So cool. uh, We were talking a little bit uh, earlier about how you recreated the sets that uh, were showcased in the film. Tell me about that process and how you were able to get down to the right detail. Well, we had um, our co-producer Jennifer Gaucher had uh, an ex-head of the show foundation read the script to give us tips, but also our fantastic production designer, Martin Vakar in the Czech Republic is so skilled. Uh, we also had the Jewish Museum in Prague giving us, telling us where, how to work. And we, Janine, while we were writing the script, flew us to Auschwitz to take tons of pictures and video and walk the grounds completely. So <clears throat> we, Herbert was in two camps, Terezin and Auschwitz. Terezin still exists, so we actually shot in Terezin, the real Terezin. Mm -hmm. How was that uh, energy, how was that atmosphere for your oh, cast? So intense, so intense. Um, and the Europeans, our production designer again, is, knows how it functioned during the war, so he put the gardens right where they were. And one thing we found during the screenings, there are people who had family there, and knew all about how it looked, and they were confirming how accurate our production designer got it. For Auschwitz, we had to build it. And so we built, uh, it was like seven eighth scale versions of the buildings, because they're so vast. Yeah. Several of them, the barracks, and then the brick facades mm -hmm. of some of the larger buildings, like the hospital, and then all of the, the Nazi, the guard towers and the, barbed wire stations and then we had an actual train tracks and train right along it as would have been at Auschwitz. Um, so it was quite a task and because there were 1.3 million people there we did use some digital set extension as well and at any given time we had to have at least 150 extras um, but it was such a vast area you know it was quite a palette. Yeah. Yeah. How were you able to get your cast into that mindset of uh, the people that they were portraying during that time, to bring them back there, uh, besides going there and then seeing as it was, how did your directing bring them into that? Well, uh, for one, we informed a lot about it was like, and, and as a whole, Europeans are a lot more informed about it. We did have, we, we told them, we had them watch the interviews with Herbert, the actual her interviews, but when you go into Terezin, you still see scratched on the wall things that the prisoners scratched there. You, you, feel, you can still smell what it was like to be there. And then just the dynamics of the story, when you slam the gate that had been slammed on people behind them without telling them, or have them go into an actual train car and actually have it nailed shut with all the people crowded together, they naturally start to feel it. They, they feel it when, when everyone there is dressed as a prisoner or when they're all standing naked in front of Mengele being ex exposed and vulnerable. You put any human in that situation, they start to feel a lot of, they'll never feel everything that 
the people felt, but they feel a lot. Yeah. You know? An accurate and very well said yeah. uh, description of, of bringing that whole area to life. Um, so you did screen here at the Hamptons Film Festival. Uh, how were the reactions from the audience uh, after that screening? Um, amazing. So we've had two screenings and they were both wonderful. Um, our Saturday morning screening just yeah, amazing. It was, um, having done this for a long time, it's funny, Saturday was rainy, it's an 11 o'clock screening, and, you know, I'm expecting, oh, who's going to show up? <laughs> the best sign is when the second screening's more full than the first, and uh, it was chock full, and there was also some disturbing news that morning in the world, and we were, the emotions were so strong in the room. Afterwards, so many people came up to me in tears with their own story to tell. And there's a SAG strike going on, so the SAG actors couldn't be here, but the European cast flew over to be here because it was that important to them. And so, after we did our Q&A, it was, you know, embracing several people who were in tears who had, their parents were in Auschwitz and hadn't told them until they were near the end of their lives and over and over again so it's it feels like a big responsibility and a big uh, honor and a blessing to be able to even be part of telling Herbert's story but you could also feel the healing and the connection that happened as a result of it um, and, you know so I'm kind of a, and it was hard to I've done a lot of Q&A's but I started to almost lose it emotionally both times just because of the emotions of the people asking the questions, but that's part of go what goes along with this. And I, I, I'm very grateful because of Janine's vision that even with the storyline, we end up, it's a story of hope. In the end, it leaves you with a feeling of great hope. And the world needs more of that today, so I hope yeah. that they're able to see that and feel more invigorated that uh, these issues can be overcome and that there is light when, there, when things seem to start. Um, Avenue of the Giants, where can people go to find out more about it? Um, we have the website avenueofthegiants.film and from that you can find out the social media of the Facebook and Instagram posts. And it'll be coming to you in theaters this spring. Very nice. Well, congratulations on the theatrical. Thank you. And uh, we hope you have a great time here at the Happy Film Fest. Thank, Thank you so you. much.